Hello people of the internet, uh, you might be having um, some issues with um, your um, downloading uh, of files that have the NKIT ISO um, extension sort, uh, sort of thing where you need to convert the NKIT ISO into a normal ISO. Now you might get a uh, error that is something like this. Update portion blah 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 missing. Adding filler. It may be recoverable. It will never be recoverable. If you are getting an update partition error, there is no way to uh, do anything. So you may ask, how do I bypass this? How do I make a game work even though in the NKIT processor it says that the update portion is missing? Now, if you have downloaded stuff from Vim, you will know that the downloading times are absolutely enormous. Now, there is nothing we can do about that because right now we are going to have to download a 4 gigabyte file. This will probably take you around 2 hours but it has to be done if you want to fix this problem. So I will link you the website and you are going to download depending on if it's a GameCube game you're having problems with or a Wii game you are going to change uh, Accordingly, if you have a GameCube game that you are struggling with, you are in luck because the download is only 5 megabytes. But if you are in my situation, I am trying to recover my Mario, Mario Kart Wii CTGP um, and my Mario Kart Wii is currently broken. My real disk is unable to read, hence why I need to do this uh, thing. But in order to install CTGP, of course, you need an ISO file. So for that, we need the, the uh, NKIT with the updated partitions, and that is really big. So just go ahead and download that. A link will be in the description, and then we are good to continue. All right, everybody, when it is downloaded, what you should do, of course, is move it into whatever folder. And I'm going to call this one NKIT with all the stuff. <laughs> I think that is an easy way to uh, notice. I am not sure if I will need the other NKIT anymore. So now, of course, you just put all of this into that folder. Uh, you wait for this to process. This will, of course, also take a while because all oh, it's it's a big big file right so i will be right back when that has done its thing all right so now my process is done i'm gonna open this end kit instead um it might take a little bit longer to open but now we can drag and drop our uh end kit iso file that didn't work previously and when it is in here, uh, we can now, of course, click full verify if we want to. It doesn't really matter. Just as we put, uh, we just need to make sure that we put convert to ISO. It's not harder than that. Just press process, and this time it should actually work, and it should not give you the error that it did. Uh, before you can see now it says free passes full verify is passed cal caches are passed and two iso is passed so hopefully uh, we will see this not giving us the error we will find out very shortly of course because when this went all the way to the right um, it just crashed and it will simply not do that this time around, which is amazing.
So let's just wait a little bit here because it's I'm not going to stop the recording because it's almost there and you will see that it will this time not crash because now we are running a version of NKit which has all of the update partitions needed. So instead of crashing here, you can see it is calculating hashes and you can see it's doing it. Um, so yeah, it's just lovely. I'm just going to show you it working here so that there is no doubt in your mind. And we can talk about it. Uh, the real tough part about uh, this whole ordeal is of course uh, the part where you have to download a big, big file from Vim which is not very easy to do, like it literally takes so long. But if you just give it the, I think it took three and a half hours uh, for me. So, but if you give it that time, you can see it clearly works, which is absolutely lovely. Um, full verify should not be so long. And there we go, it is done. So now we can cross that out and we can find our file right in here, Wii, and there it is, Mario Kart Wii. Isn't that lovely? 